in the first half, there was a little bit of a scuffle, a little bit of a scrum, a little bit of a brouhaha. And we saw the video of what went down. Trent Williams got sufficiently angered by something to curl his fist up into a ball and punch someone in the helmet. Now, I still question the wisdom of punching someone in a helmet because, you know, it's a helmet. But that and that's not a flop either. That was the reaction to being punched in the face mask by Trent Williams. Right. Remember, we he did that to I think it was open hand, but he did to Richard Sherman after a playoff game years ago. The 2012 Washington Seattle playoff game got in his face and gave him a big whack. Maybe we can find that gift before we go to break. But you're supposed to get ejected for punching someone. And they've got this great procedure now, Peter, and we've seen it fail twice this week. Monday night, when Deshaun Watson shoves an official away from him as the official is trying to push him back from a potential fight with the Steelers player or basically the entire Steelers sideline, as we see that happen and the league office does not tell the referee that night, it checked number four for Cleveland. We saw it again last night. Trent Williams punches a guy in the face. They don't eject him. And unlike Monday night when there was no pool report for Walt Anderson to explain why they didn't eject Deshaun Watson, we got word salad last night from Walt Anderson saying, and you're going to have a hard time reading that, but the bottom line is they didn't see the punch clearly enough. They couldn't tell with 100% certainty there was a punch. What more do you need? Does it need to be like Rock'em Sock'em Robots where you punch him in the right spot and his head flies up five feet? Like, what do you need to see a guy punch someone in the face and the head jerk back? What else would it have to be to get a guy ejected, Peter? I don't know. When I saw that on replay last night, I just kept saying to myself, isn't that an ejectable offense? And my feeling is this is why they have created an open line of communication from New York to the field. And, you know, to me, I think it's, you've got to be a hundred percent. Now the Deshaun Watson one, I think that definitely was an ejectable offense, but it, uh, I didn't, I didn't view it as, as bad as what happened last night. I do think that Deshaun Watson should not put his hands on an official, but it struck me I don't know why it did, Mike. It struck me sort of heat of the moment, kind of I need to make my point, kind of get out of the way, but it wasn't like he shoved an official because you're an idiot. Hey, he just, time out. You know, Doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, Doesn't matter. Ahead. You're uh, uh, arguing yeah, with me. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna I disagree, yeah. if we're gonna disagree, go look at the item from the athletic, Kalen Kaler, who got started with you at the MMQB. Go look at the clips that she put in there of other situations. It's a different standard. You don't have to punch the official in the face to get ejected. You lay hands on official, you're out. Doesn't matter whether you're trying to actually physically engage with the official. The the official is pushing you away and you shove the official. You you can't touch the official. Others have been ejected for less than what Deshaun Watson did. It's a different standard for touching an official. And here's my tinfoil hat theory, Peter. Here's another chance for you to call me stupid. I don't think they want to take quarterbacks, starting quarterbacks out of these standalone primetime games because of the impact of losing the starting quarterback on the ratings for the games. And last year, Troy Vincent sat at the ESPN desk on Sunday morning and explained that they throw flags for roughing the passer willy-nilly in order to keep quarterbacks in the game because the highest-rated TV shows are NFL games, and if we start having no quarterbacks because they're all injured by these hits, people aren't going to watch. And last night, I think it extended to the guys who protect the quarterbacks because if Trent Williams is ejected from this game, now we got to worry about Brock Purdy getting hit and possibly getting hurt. And we got to keep the starting quarterbacks healthy to keep the numbers big, especially Thursday night football. I don't think that's a tinfoil hat thing at all. I don't. I don't. Well, think, I, don't I think, think that's, that's why Trent Williams wasn't ejected. Yeah, I think he Maybe. wasn't ejected because he's a left I tackle, think. primarily responsible for keeping Brock Purdy from having another surgery that they will graphically depict on a future Thursday night game while I'm eating chicken wings. Yeah, I, I, I think that that is valid. I think it really is valid. 
I guess I don't know that the, the the Deshaun Watson one. I would have felt like, oh come on. I, I and I understand. I guess if it's a hard and fast absolute total, you cannot touch one thread of the fabric on an official. Okay, toss them out. But it would have felt, it, in my opinion, anyway, it would have felt cheap. Well, but Peter, the officials are out there with no pads, no helmets. They're all middle-aged or older. I, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that if I'm an official, that's the standard that will apply. Whatever you guys do to each other, just understand, if you touch any of us, you're going to the showers. And that's the standard. I watched the videos that Kale and Kaler added to that article at The Athletic. Lesser contact with officials has gotten guys ejected. And the and again, here's what the NFL does. They issue this gaslighting word salad that conflicts with what we see. And we're supposed to say, okay, they're right. Our eyes are wrong. What we saw was wrong. The explanation they gave after the Deshaun Watson thing was baloney in comparison to what we saw. This wasn't some incidental contact as, you know, like if if Deshaun is is fighting with the Steelers player, they're pushing and shoving, and he puts his arm back and accidentally, you know, hits the official who's trying to break it up. That wasn't it. That's the impression they tried to create. Like, hey, you know, the officials are trying to restore order, and sometimes there's incidental contact. The official was pushing Deshaun Watson, and he shoved the official away from him so he could get to the guy the official was trying to push him away from. Ejectable. Last night, punched to the face. Ejectable. And they issued this bull crap on the back end that we're just supposed to accept. I'm mean, the the full it's laughable. The Walt Anderson pool report is laughable. What do you mean you're not 100% sure he punched him? What more do you need to see to be 100% sure that he punched the guy in the face? I can't believe it. I I can't argue with the on Trent Williams. And I suppose I can't argue with you on Deshaun Watson either. I just felt like it was heat of the moment, get out of the way. I don't know. Uh, I and it's happened. I, I get it. I, I understand. control yourself. I understand, but yeah. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.